Freakonomics. There's this, uh, you know, we wrote about this guy, the bagel man, who, 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 who b delivered bagels to all these companies and just put a cash box around to, uh, uh, to collect payment. And it turns out the things that affected people's behavior and their payment and their honesty were really kind of weirdly marginal and personal and kind of mood driven, like the weather. So on rotten weather, people were less honest. They paid less. And around certain kinds of holidays, they, their spirits seemed to be buoyed, and they, they paid more. And then there was a study in the UK where this academic, a psychologist, put in her department break room where they sell coffee and drinks a little can to pay for stuff. And there was a price list posted, and, and they would change the pictures on the price list every week. And on week one, it would be a picture of like flowers, and week two, a pair of human eyes, just a picture cut out from a magazine. And then week three, flowers, four human eyes, they would alternate. Mm -hmm. Turns out that on the week where there are the human eyes watching you paying money for your coffee, payments tripled. Tripled. So like, you know, people joke about when a scarecrow's in a field, people say, God, those, those birds are so <laughs> stupid, they're being scared of this scarecrow. You know, scarecrows work on us too, on people. Triple the, the rate of payment just by seeing a pair of eyes, which suggests to us something internally that we should be more honest. Mm -hmm. If you go back to the bagel man, I mean, one of the most surprising results uh, in, in the bagel man and in, in how honest people were is that after 9/11, the payment rates jumped uh, to levels he had never seen before. I mean, it had not, it was it was a, it was a case of whatever was making people pay. It had nothing to do with being caught. It had nothing to do with you know what they thought was fair to the bagel man. It had something to do with their vision of of what it was to be an American, right? And that that's an example of an incentive that. You know, who, who would have imagined that that would be one of the things that 9-11 would do, would make people treat a, a, a bagel man more nicely? The other thing that was really interesting about that is he did, he did all these different firms, and it was around the Washington, D.C. area. And uh, I don't know if we ever talked about this. The, uh, the American Diabetes Association was one of his firms, and he delivered um, bagels and donuts to all these different companies. And he would say, you know, he would, he would talk to each of them, you know, how many bagels do you want, how many donuts do you want. Usually they would have bagels four to one to donuts, but the Diabetes Association, all they wanted was donuts. So it became a question of, like, are the people who work there uh, sweet cravers because they work there? Did working there make them sweet cravers in the first place? But they were like, that was the donut shop.